Fantastic service this morning. Um, looks really good from here this morning. All these have come out and showed up to be a part of service. Uh, it's encouraging. Amen. Amen. Let's go, Lord, in prayer, and we'll open up uh, this morning. Brother Rex, will you take the Lord in prayer and open us up, please, sir? Amen. Amen. Grab your big red book there and turn over page number 25. Let's all stand and sing this morning. When we all get to heaven, page 25.
do page number 58. Page 58. The old gospel ship. Amen. I'm looking forward to that day. Amen. If you didn't grab you one, grab you a bulletin on the way out. There's some in the front, some in the back there. Just a list of announcements that are taking place. Uh, we want to wish everybody a happy Labor Day tomorrow. Uh, uh, and and uh, I found this verse right here to be very um, useful uh, as we celebrate this Labor Day. Colossians 3 and 23, uh, something that I, I, I preach to Canaan and myself all the time. It says, whatsoever work you do, uh, uh, you need to do it with all your heart uh, and, and do it as you're doing it for the Lord and not for yourself or man. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. Now that was the RKJ version right there. Uh, uh, if you want to get the KJV version, uh, you'll grab it there in uh, Colossians 3.23. But anyways, uh, uh, coming up... Um, this month, uh, don't forget about our prayer meetings on Monday night at 7 here. Uh, we also have our trail life meeting uh, open house. will be uh, not this Thursday, but the following Thursday uh, from 6 to 7.30. So anybody that may be interested uh, that you know of in that program for uh, uh, raising Christian boys to become godly men and, and learning how to be menly men as well, uh, and you think that they may be interested, let them know that open house will be uh, the 14th of this month from 6 to 7 30 and be uh, just a uh, go over, going over everything that, that is involved in that uh, program and that ministry there. Um, Brother Willie will be heading that up as usual as he is the uh, uh, troop master there and he'll take care of everything. Uh, so if you need any more information or anything like that, see him and he can get that handled. Also coming up on the 18th will be a business meeting uh, after prayer service that night at 7. Uh, then our church fellowship will be here this uh, uh, go around. So please come out and support our church, support the others that are here and 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 let's just uh, gather together uh, uh, with one another and with other churches just to praise God. If we can't do that down here, I don't know how you're going to do it over yonder. Amen. amen. And when I say over yonder, I don't mean Scotts Hill and Selmer, but I mean in heaven. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, and then also the last Thursday of the month will be uh, the last uh, or the uh, uh, the second trail life meeting of this month. Also, don't forget about the positions that are still open within our church. Help us to continue to pray about those uh, as we pray that God leads people to those ministries there uh, and appoints people uh, uh, not just to fill a position, uh, uh, but that has a desire to serve God and God is placing them there. Amen. 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 Anybody else got any announcements you'd like to make uh, uh, that has been made this morning?
Well, if not, don't forget about the prayer list on the back. Uh, make sure that um, uh, you're praying uh, for each one of these that are on the back here. And if you need to get anybody added, text them to me or come see me and we'll get them jotted down. Uh, uh, and, um, uh, and we'll continue to pray on those. Uh, anything else this morning before we continue on with service? We need to remember Miss Rebecca that comes and helps um, with the camps and different things. Uh, she lost her mom yesterday. Okay. All right. Anything else this morning? Well, if not, by the look on Brooke's face back there, y'all be in prayer for her. She's <laughs> she's feeling that pregnancy this morning, so <laughs> it may not have been right then, but she's already mentioned it several times this morning. So y'all just be in prayer for her. She's got a few weeks left. Uh, uh, that God would just continue to work and, and, and be in that situation there. All right, grab your big red book there. Turn over page number 161. We'll all stand and sing. Jesus, hold my hand. Brooke, this one's for you this morning. Amen. Amen. 161. We'll go ahead and take up morning offering this morning if we can have our ushers to 
go ahead and get ready there. Uh, we'll go to the Lord in prayer and ask him to bless uh, uh, the, uh, the gift that's been given here and bless the giver as well as we graciously give back to God as he's uh, uh, graciously given unto us. Uh, Brother Casey, we take you to the Lord in prayer and bless the offering, please, sir. Amen. Amen. Page number 16. Page 16. In the garden.
I'll give the Lord some praise. You may be seated. John, I believe that you've got one that you're going to do this morning. Jesus, in the twinkling of an eye, 
In the twinkling of an eye, I made my reservation for mansion in the sky. I may not know the moment, or I may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away. I may not know the moment, or I may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away. you but i'm ready to head on out praise god <laughs> amen i'm a going home with jesus in the twinkling of an eye i've made my preparation for a mansion in the sky <laughs> amen i may not know the moment or i may not know the day but i know that i'll be leaving when he calls his church away amen <laughs> sing a little bit of that brad in the twinkling of an eye, I made my reservation for a mansion in the sky. I may not know the moment, or I may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away. Going home with Jesus in the twinkling of an eye, I made my reservation for a mansion in the sky. I may not know the moment, or I may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away. I may not know the moment, or I may not know the day, but I know that I'll be leaving when he calls his church away. Man, if they don't get that tractor, that tractor cranked, amen. Praise the Lord. They done got us going every which way they're saying. Anybody home sick this morning? Amen. There's a light in the window and the table spread in splendor. Someone standing by the old
so lonesome heart is crying. Think I'll spread my wings for flying. Lord, I've never been this home. the Lord. <laughs> I'm a looking forward to it, amen. Uh, you looking forward to what you got waiting on the other side. I promise you this, it's better than anything you got down here, amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hey man, I'm already sweating and going on up here. Praise God, I had to grab my rag. I felt like Vestal Goodman singing an old camp meeting song, amen. I was a fix and start waving her down, amen. Praise God. It's feel good in here this morning. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The only way you'll make it there this morning is by this dear old song Beverly sings that says, I made it by grace. Amen. The grace of God is the only way. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 
amen. Amen. Someone asked if I would sing this song this morning. I can't think of a better time to do it than right now. I know that there's a lot going on within our church. A lot of people have been affected by a lot of different things. Uh, uh, but this song simply says, as we're all familiar with, uh, I know a man who can. Amen. No matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, know this. Uh, as long as you're facing it with him, uh, he'll get you through it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what was on my heart, but I'm going to give you one scripture this morning. I'm going to give you this right here out of Exodus chapter number 15, and I want you to see what God is saying here. He says, and if I will diligently, if ye, thou will diligently hearken after the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do thou this which right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee. This uh, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. Uh, for I am the Lord, uh, praise God, he says, for I am the Lord that haleth thee. 
If I had it in me this morning to preach it, I would. But right here's what I want to hit you with. He is the God Jehovah Roth this morning. He is my healer. He is my healer. I don't know what you're facing this morning, but I know the one that can. <laughs> I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what you're going through, but I know we all going through something. But know this right here. If we'll stay faithful and true to God, if we'll keep his commandments, if we'll stay faithful to the path he lays before us, I promise you this. He says, I will be your Jehovah Rapha. I will be your God healer this morning. I will be there to handle your situation. I'll be there. To, uh, and I want you to notice this right here, uh, that he doesn't promise uh, to make us get out of them as we should flee out of a situation. Uh, but he says this right here. He says this at the very end, uh, that, that, that we uh, may endure in those hardships. You see, not every trial, not every situation, not every problem does, does God uh, answer in the way that we think he should, and that's just get me out. But sometimes we ought to be praying, Lord, don't get me out, but Lord, just get me through. Lord, just get me through. Lord, just show me what it is. You're trying to teach me out of this. Even though in my hardships, even though in my tough situations, even though in my sorrow and my pain and all these things, Lord, just get me through. <laughs> Too many times we want to take the easy road out. And when you take the easy road, we know that we don't learn a thing. I heard once that there was some place, and I forget where it was, but it says the trees there were in a perfect condition. And it says that they would grow and they would produce. And these trees would get to a certain height. And in this perfect environment, this perfect shape, this perfect condition that these trees were in and all around it, all of a sudden they begin to fall over. They begin to fall over. And the scientists and all these people, they begin to question. And the people that were studying the, 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 the nature and all the stuff around there, they begin to say, why are these trees falling over? And Brother Danny, I would dare to say this right here, just like a Christian would fall over in the perfect environment. It takes trials. It takes uh, hardships. Uh, it takes, uh, uh, it takes uh, 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 sometimes pain uh, for us to grow stronger in him. You see, these trees, trees, because of the perfect condition that they were in, uh, their roots did not grow very deep, uh, nor were they holding on good uh, because they had never faced the adversity of hard, of, uh, hard wind. Uh, they had never faced uh, uh, awful uh, uh, storms and things like that. Uh, for when they grew so tall, it's all they could do, and then they would fall. But here's what God doesn't want you to do. <laughs> he doesn't want you to live in a perfect environment that one day you may fall. God will bring tests into your life for a reason. God will bring things into your life to prove you so that you will deepen your roots. Uh, let me, let, I'll give you a good Bible word. Uh, not your roots, but your faith. Amen. Uh, faith is what is strengthened by adversity. Faith is what is strengthened by hardship. Faith is what is strengthened by sorrow and pain uh, and difficulty. Uh, your faith is strengthened in the storm. Your faith cannot be strengthened on the outside of the storm because you're living on easy street. What faith does it take, Brother Danny, to live on easy street? It don't take a whole lot when the bills are paid and then everything's going smoothly and your kids and your family, everything's going great and your job's fantastic and all these things. You're just coasting along and that's all that you're doing. That's not where faith comes from. Faith is developed out of the hardships of life. And I want you to know something. In my hardships, uh, there's two ways I can look at it. I can look at it as this right here, uh, God testing me to prove me, or I can allow Satan to get in and him tempt me and discourage me and to cause me to fail. I, I, I can, I, in my situation, I, I can either take it as a test from the Lord. Okay, God, help me here. See, that, uh, that's what happens a lot of times. We know that by what the Bible teaches us, um, that when, just like Joseph, we get in a situation of temptation, the first thing we need to do is flee. 
<laughs> Joseph fleed in such a way that he left uh, whatever the world had a hold of behind him, amen, and he got up out of there. But I want you to know this right here. Not every situation you're in is a temptation, but it may be a testing. And instead of fleeing out, instead of saying, God, get me out of this, God, take me out of this, uh, why don't you say, God, strengthen me through this. God, help my faith in this. God, I don't know why I'm having to go through this, but it's not because of the trial that I can have joy. As Paul writes over there, he says, not in all things, but through all things. Through all things. You may not understand why you're going through the situation and the hardships that you're in. You may not fully understand why God moves, but it is God's sovereignty that we cannot question. God is a sovereign God, and it is up to him to do as he pleases to do. And who are we except a creation to try to question God? So it's not in the situation we should be joyful, but it's through the situation. You see, as I've said many, many, many times before preaching, my joy does not come upon my situation. That is happiness. Happiness comes when situations are good. Sadness comes when situations are bad. Anger comes when situations uh, are brewing up uh, and a storm is about to happen. Uh, uh, we see all these different emotions take place. But here, joy is not an emotion of the world. Joy is something that is placed within us at the time of salvation. That we get to taste every day of our life. As long as we live in the joy. And here, the, 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 the Bible says this right here. Not only the joy, but in the strength of him. So many scriptures I could give you on living in the strength of God. Not living in your own strength because you cannot live there. Your strength will not get you through. But his strength will. Your ability will not get you through. But his ability will. <laughs> I love this right here. My faith without him is nothing. But my faith with him is what it takes. My faith with and in him is what it takes. Adam, uh, 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 grab that song right there. He'll never leave you. Uh, that that C.T. Town song right there. I don't know what God's doing here this morning. This is not the plan that I had. But I want you to know something. Uh, I don't really get all caught up in the plans that I try to make or anybody else because I know that those aren't important. Amen. But God is moving here in such a way that somebody in their issue, in their problems, in their trials, in, their, in, 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 in these hardships of life, somebody needs to find an altar and say, God, I've questioned you too long. Now, Lord, I just want to give it to you and say, God, help me through it. God, let me find the joy in the midst of the storm. God, let me find the strength to continue through. Let me find the strength to continue on. Let's all stand this morning as Adam sings this song. Be obedient to the Lord this morning. If he's telling you to hit an altar somewhere, if he's telling you to find somebody to pray with, whatever it is, let's be obedient to God this morning. And God will do a great thing here. In the mess of this whole world, sometimes I just need a word from heaven that everything's okay. Sometimes I'm so afraid when I cannot see how God will make a way. But then I think He's never failed me, never left me. Not one time have I cried out, and my voice He has not.
forsaken you. The child, don't lose your faith. He is working while you wait. So just hold on. There's some still at the altar. God is still moving this morning. It's not too late. Amen. It is never too late. Amen. In the foothills of sorrow, looking up from the Amen. 
can tell your mountain how big your God is because that mountain ain't no... <laughs> Praise God, that mountain ain't no problem. Uh, old songwriter Gerald Crabb, I believe, wrote a song saying, that old mountain ain't no problem for a climber, amen. Uh, God gave me strength to climb and I'll climb up over it no matter how hard it is. Uh, no matter how many times I gotta stop and catch my breath, praise God, uh, that mountain ain't gonna hold me back. Amen. amen. <laughs> Amen. Adam, I don't know, son. Hit one more song over there. I just don't feel like he's through this morning. Uh, and I definitely don't want to get in his way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But somebody this morning, uh, I don't know why he's holding on just a little bit longer, but somebody uh, needs to get in touch this morning. Amen. Praise God. Hit something over there, Adam, please. Amen. <laughs> Jesus, the disciples were getting concerned. The wind started violently blowing, but he was asleep in the stern. Does he not care that we perish? We're helpless and we're so afraid. Jesus arose when they called him said to them, where is your faith? Because you prayed all night. Because you held on with all your might. Child, your Christ have awoken the master. Joy. 
man. Your cries have awoken the master. This morning, if you've cried out to the master, I guarantee you he's heard every word. Amen. He has heard every word this morning. Anybody got a word you'd like to share this morning before we dismiss in prayer? Amen. 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 Tell you what, it's been different this morning, but I love God's different. Amen. <laughs> Amen. If you need something with the program or if you need something where the preacher's got to preach every Sunday, here's probably not the place you want to be. Amen. Because we're led by the Spirit, and we're just going to let the Spirit do what the Spirit decides He needs to do. Amen. Because He knows the heart, not me or anybody else. Amen. 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 Anybody else this morning before we dismiss? Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. 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 Anybody else? Well, if not, it's been good to be here this morning, ain't it? Amen. 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 We're getting you out of here a little early this morning, it seems like. About, looks like 11 minutes after 12. You might be able to beat some of the other church folks to the restaurants if that's where you're headed. But anyways, <laughs> anyways uh, uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer and, and, and be dismissed this morning. Don't forget tonight, uh, uh, if you'd like to come back for a time of fellowship at five with us, uh, I thoroughly enjoy that time just to get to uh, sit around with you guys and just talk and, and, and just enjoy the company. Amen. So uh, if you can come back and meet with us at 5 for fellowship, uh, uh, but also don't forget about service tonight at 6. Invite somebody, and let's just see what God's got in store tonight. Amen. If God is a big enough God to change plans, rearrange furniture, and to move in and to pour out upon this place like he did this morning, don't you know he's big enough God to do it again tonight? <laughs> amen, amen. So let's uh, leave here with that same mentality that, man, God, uh, i seen you work this morning, but I want to see you outdo it tonight. <laughs> amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Brother Mickey, will you take your Lord in prayer and dismiss us, please, sir? Amen. Amen.